How's it going everybody? Welcome back. And if you're trying to change your IP address on Windows 10, I'm going to show you guys how you can do that. Of course, some of the most reliable ways are paid ways. They're not exactly free, uh, but it really depends on what you're trying to do. So, you know, there may be some instances well where you'll want to change your IP address. The reasons for this include um, maybe trying to access content online, which is otherwise restricted in your physical location. For example, uh, uh, the US library of Netflix while you're on a trip aboard, for example, uh, or if you can't connect to Wi-Fi and you don't know why. Maybe you want to prevent tracking and leave no digital footprint. Maybe you want to avoid throttling from your ISP, or you just want to encrypt your data and increase your security while you're on public Wi-Fi, for example. Uh, bypass firewalls, uh, maybe you want to fix an incorrectly configured IP address or use a router which is providing unusable IP addresses, or perhaps two devices share your uh, network, or perhaps two devices on your network sharing the same IP address and you want to uh, go ahead and change uh, the one on your own device. Uh, so there are a few ways, of course, to change your IP address. Um, I'll get to the VPN part, which is the most reliable way of changing your IP address and safest way, of course. Uh, but there are other ways to change your IP address, such as you could just change your network. So if you have more than one Wi-Fi, you can do that. Uh, another thing you can do is uh, switch to mobile data. So turn on your hotspot. Uh, and switch to that mobile uh, data internet. Uh, you could ask your ISP actually, if, it, if it's a, too much of a problem or too much of a hassle for you, you can just ask your ISP to change your IP address. Uh, they'll be able to do that. Or you can turn off your router for a few minutes, usually five to 10 minutes will work just fine. If that doesn't work, you can, uh, maybe you'll have to turn it off overnight because what happens when you turn off your um, router is that you're letting go of that IP address so that your internet service provider can actually take that uh, IP address and recycle that and perhaps give it to someone else uh, since you're no longer using it. And when you turn on your router again, you'll reconnect with your ISP servers and you'll pick up a new IP address. So that's one very useful or very easy way to change your IP address. So try turning it off um, in between five and 10 minutes. If that doesn't work, you might have to leave it overnight. So just before you go to sleep, uh, just turn it off and you should wake up with a new IP address. Uh, and then you can go to what is my IP address and check if uh, it worked. Another thing you can do is just download proxy browser extensions. So just go on to Google and look up uh, proxy uh, proxy extensions for your Chrome or Firefox or whatever um, a browser you're using. Another way to change your IP address is by using Tor. So using Tor is a very good way of uh, changing your IP address, but be wary that your ISP will be able to tell that your own IP address is trying to access the dark web. So if you're in a censorship heavy country, you definitely have to combine uh, the Tor browser with uh, a VPN to hide the fact that your IP address uh, is using the Tor browser to try to access the dark web. And of course, there's nothing wrong with accessing the dark web. It's just that usually it is associated with illicit purposes or illicit activity. Uh, so if you're in a censorship heavy country, um, you might kind of uh, put a red flag on your, your uh, IP address if you do that. So definitely you'll have to, first of all, use a VPN before that uh, in order to keep yourself secure. Of course, once you're within the Tor browser, uh, no one can really know what you're doing and uh, everything will just be scrambled and encrypted thanks to the uh, way the Tor browser works. So these are a few ways to change your IP address. Of course, the most reliable of which and why I am viewed as being in Salt Lake City here is because I am connected to ExpressVPN uh, on the Salt Lake City uh, server. So of course, this is the most reliable way of changing your IP address, especially if you're trying to uh, encrypt your data by uh, changing your IP address, because changing your IP address alone won't exactly encrypt anything. Whereas a VPN server or using a VPN will actually encrypt your data. Now, before we begin, I'm just going to explain quickly, very quickly, these three VPNs. If you're interested in any of those, by the way, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below if at any point you'd like to check for those. 
You'll also find full reviews if you'd like to know more about these VPNs. Now, so again, if you're trying to change your IP address to access Netflix, Hulu, or any kind of uh, geo-restricted content, you'll have more success using a VPN, especially with these websites such as these streaming services that actually detect proxy traffic and even unreliable VPN traffic. So if you're using like a free VPN or some unreliable VPN, these streaming services will still pick up on that and won't allow you to access the websites. Whereas with ExpressVPN or VPN and Surfshark, you won't have any trouble doing that, especially when it comes to unblocking Netflix libraries. Now, with regards to Netflix libraries, if you're using NordVPN and Surfshark, you might still have trouble uh, accessing the US library. Unlike with ExpressVPN, you'll have no trouble accessing the US library. And if you do, just you know, switch between a few servers here and there and you'll be good to go. And this is, of course, inevitable because of the constant cat and mouse game between Netflix and VPNs, because Netflix constantly tries to block uh, VPN traffic and to prevent VPNs from uh, accessing their libraries and specifically the US library since it is the most sought after library and it's the biggest library really. Most people that are trying to unblock Netflix uh, libraries are going after the US library uh, since it has the uh, biggest number of content. And so yeah, using ExpressVPN will definitely be uh, the most sensible choice here since it is the most consistent. And using Netflix as a reference, by the way, ExpressVPN is able to unblock up to 18 Netflix libraries, 10 with Nord and 15 with Surfshark. So it gives you a bit of an idea how reliable these VPNs are with regards to unblocking Netflix and streaming services. Uh, not only that, of course, if you're in a censorship heavy country and you're trying to change your IP address, uh, these VPNs are very heavily encrypted and it's specifically ExpressVPN, which has obfuscation on by default, which means you don't really have to fiddle with the VPN to make it work in a censorship heavy country. Whereas with NordVPN, it will work, but you will have to ask NordVPN for the um, application or version of NordVPN that works in censorship heavy countries. Other, otherwise, the regular NordVPN application will not work. And with Surfshark, uh, you might have to turn on uh, no borders mode in order to uh, bypass the Great Firewall of China. If you're in China, for example, and if some uh, websites are perhaps banned for you, you can just access the Shadow Socks, use the Shadow Socks protocol in order to access banned websites. Um, and uh, yeah, with regards to these VPNs, if you're trying to choose one of them, if you're kind of confused and you're not exactly sure which one, listen, if you're looking for the best reliable VPN uh, when it comes to performance, unblocking streaming services, especially security, as well as reliability and functionality in censorship heavy countries, you can go with ExpressVPN. It'll allow you to secure up to five devices and it has up to 94 regions and over 3000 servers. But if you're looking to secure one more device, okay, which is six devices, unlike Express's uh, five, in order to allow you to secure up to six devices per, subscri per subscription, it has over 5,300 servers in 60 countries, and it's got plenty of other features uh, that may be attractive to you, such as the specialty servers, you've got the powerful NordLynx protocol, which makes NordVPN the fastest a VPN in the industry. Not only do you have the kill switch, you also have an app kill switch. You've got split tunneling, custom DNS, obfuscated servers. Of course, all these VPNs, by the way, do have uh, the kill switch and split tunneling feature in uh, Surfshark. It is called um, Whitelister. No, no, it's not here. It's called Whitelister and there's the kill switch as well as an ad blocker and you'll find an ad blocker here as well in NordVPN. But if you're looking for the most budget friendly uh, VPN, you'll definitely want to go with Surfshark. It'll allow you to secure up to, well, an unlimited amount of devices, which is very generous. Usually in order to secure an unlimited amount of devices, you'll have to install such VPN uh, on the uh, router. And once you uh, install it on the router, anything connected to that router will be secured, of course. Uh, that's what you would have to do with ExpressVPN and NordVPN, but uh, usually compatible routers are quite a bit expensive, so you'll, you can just go with Surfshark and uh, that'll uh, give you the ability to secure unlimited amount of devices without purchasing a costly router. You still get double VPN and static IP. Uh, double VPN, if you didn't know, will route your connection through two servers rather than one. Uh, and you've got, of course, as I mentioned earlier, you know, the protocol, the WireGuard protocol, Shadow Socks protocol, split tunneling, kill switch, and ad blocker. Uh, now, if you're interested in learning more about these VPNs, you'll find links to reviews down below. But 
you know, when it comes to changing the IP address, it really is as simple as just picking a server. So um, last year I was uh, in Salt Lake City. Let's go ahead and just connect to some other country. Let's just say Italy. And once I connect to one of these servers, um, all I need to do is uh, just double check that I am indeed connected on the whatismyipaddress.com uh, and just right here. You'll notice that my IP just changed and it'll say that I am in Italy. So it really is as simple as that. Again, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below as well as full reviews. If you'd like to know more about these VPNs in terms of their privacy policies, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities as well as security features. So keep that in mind if you guys are interested. Besides that, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.